What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jared Moon here from Garage Gym Athlete, and I am going to be doing a Garage Gym Athlete short. So what we're doing here in these short videos is just taking one concept, maybe from the podcast, expanding on it just a little bit more so you make sure you know how to understand and implement. And uh, something that we talked about recently was how to gain muscle. Specifically, in that conversation, we talked about muscle protein synthesis. And I'm not a chemist, I'm a coach, but I want to make sure that you understand muscle protein synthesis in a very uh, utilitarian type way, like how can you use it? So there are two known ways to uh, elevate muscle protein synthesis, and we'll get a little bit more into what it is and all that good stuff, but it's going to be uh, to train. And the second way is going to be consume protein. I'm going to put eat, so make sure that you're eating protein. So muscle protein synthesis really is a naturally occurring process in which protein is produced to pr uh, repair muscle damage. So one way I like to think of it is kind of the cyclical uh, pattern here, which we have counteracting uh, one another. So looks like this. Forgive this horrible drawing. Uh, but we have muscle protein breakdown, and then we have muscle protein synthesis. So the more you break your muscles down, the more muscle protein syn synthesis is going to be needed. Uh, a lot of times when the mTOR, the signaling uh, pathway mTOR is uh, activated, more, more muscle protein synthesis happens. Um, so how, what does this mean to you? Well, your goal, if you're looking to gain or maintain would be muscle protein synthesis equals muscle protein breakdown. And if you want to gain muscle, you want your muscle protein synthesis to be greater than your muscle protein breakdown. So a few ways to do that. One is going to be protein quality. So you wanna make sure that you're eating the right types of protein. So we have uh, egg white protein or just eggs. Um, is a great source because what you're looking to get is leucine. So leucine plus carbohydrate. Uh, there's some limited research on the carbohydrate par portion, but leucine is very important. At least two grams of leucine is what you're looking to get post-workout to really increase that muscle uh, muscle protein synthesis. And you're gonna do that through protein quality. So eating eggs, uh, eating steak, pea protein um, for vegans has a lot of um, leucine in it. Whey protein has a ton of leucine in it. Um, and you know, those are kind of your options. You, you know, my recommendations typically are going to be weigh some sort of, if you can eat, then I, I would eat an egg or a steak. Uh, otherwise supplementation, whey, pea protein, or egg white protein. Uh, cause all the other ones, you got to really look at the leucine content, making sure you're getting, hitting at least those two grams after workout. Um, the other ways to, uh, increase it would be less rest between sets. So you want to less rest less because there's going rest less uh, because there's going to be more pro muscle protein synthesis when you do that uh, so not taking as much time in between sets to fully recover unless you're going for like one max uh, one rep maxes or something and then the third option there is going to be uh, frequency in lifting Uh, so, you know, it's okay to lift every single day, even if, uh, you know, we primarily do concurrent training, which is the blend of conditioning and uh, weightlifting. But if you can do your weightlifting first and then conditioning after, you'll still have that muscle protein synthesis, uh, uh, you know, activation for you. So you, you always want to do it, lift as much as you can. Um, and then you can also hit body parts multiple times a day, unless you're a true bodybuilder looking for that full recovery. But it's okay to hit uh, the same muscle groups multiple days in a row. And that is pretty much it. So you want to make sure that you're training, that you're eating enough high quality protein, getting less rest between sets and, you know, lifting weights more frequently. So this is muscle protein synthesis, really how to gain or maintain muscle mass. If you have any questions, please let me know.